All right, if you find yourself dreading your workouts, the problem is probably not with you, it's just usually a mismatch between your lifestyle and your training style. And I've had this happen to me a few times in my life. I found myself absolutely dreading this thing that I truly love and even getting kind of like butterflies in my stomach on the way to the gym. This obviously sucks the fun right out of training and it turns it into something you'd rather make an excuse to get out of instead of something you look forward to. And if you constantly feel this way, there's a really good shot you're gonna quit at some point. And you don't want that, so think about it like this. Training requires effort, and your ability to put forth effort is affected by stress and fatigue, even stress and fatigue that is generated outside of your training, even if it's not physical. So the more fatigue you're carrying, and the more stress you're under, the more effort you have to put out for the same physical outcome in training. So challenging things just become more challenging. And the more challenging something is, the more you have to dig into your willpower and psych yourself up to do it. And this can be fine for a bit, but it eventually starts to wear on you, adding more to that fatigue burden you're already carrying. And that just means you have to put in even more effort for the same outcome, which generates more fatigue. And you can see it kind of leads to a sort of downward spiral to where it eventually, I mean, the effort required to do the next workout just exceeds your willingness to meet those demands. So, the sum total of all the physical and psychological sources of stress and fatigue need to be taken into account when you're looking at making your training sustainable. Your training needs to match the effort you are capable of sustaining. Now, this doesn't mean training should be easy because that's not fun either. It needs to be optimally challenging. It needs to be hard enough to engage you and keep you motivated, but not so hard that the effort required leaves you crushed and drained. So this comes down to just good fatigue management. So for me, this came down to moderating my effort, not obsessing over PRs and feeling like I constantly had to do more each workout. It was giving myself permission to have some easier days and harder days and to enjoy the process instead of obsessing over the numbers. So just putting less pressure on myself to achieve a certain outcome in a certain time frame, and shifting my mindset to one focused on enjoying the journey. So if you're dreading your training and you're finding your workouts daunting, don't quit just adjust your workouts. So training is only effective if it's sustainable and it's only sustainable if you will actually do it and recover from it. So adjust your volume, your intensity, and your exercise selection to keep things challenging but doable and then don't forget to enjoy the ride. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.